welcome dear students in our technofund.kvs youtube channel and we are discussing here database concepts of class 8th computer until now we have discussed that how we can create a table in library office using wizard and can insert and delete various records from the table now in this video we are going to create a query using wizard so first of all as you already know that what is a wizard wizard is a step by step procedure to which we can do something so likewise we in this video we will create queries using wizard but first of all we need to understand that what is a query a query is a kind of request for some information from a database or in general term query means to ask for some information actually what we have do why we have created our database the purpose or the aim or goal of our database is to store data and to get information as and when we required so the purpose of database is to get information as and when we required and therefore this can be achieved by using or developing queries because a database is a huge amount of information and every time we need not we need not to have this whole information actually or in real practice what we have we have we need some small piece of information rather the whole database so to specify or to get a particular information we need to ask for some information we have to make a query query in in a query we can have whole information as well as we can have the our desired information so let us proceed further as we have created a context database we will put a query in our context database as you can see on the screen we have to first select the base database option here and our context database now in context database you can check it from the title bar that we are working in the context database then we have to click on the queries button or icon okay in this what we have the three options uh, create query in design view use wizard to create query create query in sql view in our syllabus as we have only we are only working in the wizard so that is why we will work on the second option use wizard to create a query now what kind of query we want to create we actually want those contacts who are living in delhi actually in context table we have various records five records but what we want we want only the names of those contacts which are living in delhi so as soon as we have created on the queries button and you click on the wizard then we will see this screen in this we have the various steps of our, of our query wizard in which the first step is the field selection so first of all we select here the name of the table on which we are going to put a query so we have already created our table context and we have selected here the context table now as soon as we have clicked the context table its fields or all the fields of the context table we have got here these are visible here now using these navigation buttons we can select that in the query in the result of the query or the in the output of the query what information we need means what fields we need all fields are required or some of the fields are required depending upon the query we have put like we want to search the name of those contacts who are living in city delhi okay now we have selected here contacts dot first name and city as you can see on the screen because we need the first name of the contact and city means of delhi now in second step we will click on the next button then we will have this screen and we come to the second step of sorting order now here what we have we will select the fields or the conditions or if we want to sort sort means to arrange some data on the basis of some in ascending order or descending order so we will select here the field on which we will first put the condition now just see we have selected here 
the contacts dot first name as we have in our query the first name and the city so we have selected here the first name and in ascending order now click on the next button now as soon as we come to the third step means we have to give the condition on the basis of which we are going to make the query so the third uh, condition is select the search condition so first option is match all of the following or match any of the following so what we are going to here we are selecting the field and the condition is equal to and we are giving the value delhi means what we want we want to search all the match all the following records whose value is delhi so we click on the next button then we will have this screen in which all the other as you can see the three steps are disabled here as we need not to here we not we need not required here these steps so automatically we have got the seventh step in which we are putting aliases okay so aliases is what the second name or the duplicate name so what we want we have two fields like first name and city so what we want their name to be displayed in the query first name and city so we can give here if you want to give some other names you can give your convenient names to here now we will click on the next button then we have this screen the eighth step in this we have the overview and decide how to proceed we can give the name of the query to here so first name of Delhi we are giving a name here you can also give some other name as uh, uh, you will like then we will click on the finish button as soon as we will click on the finish button what we will have see we will have automatically only two fields first name and city as we have selected in the wizard query wizard first name Aman and Raman who are living in the city Delhi so this is a query means in which we are asking for some information as you can see the contacts table have these five records you can also check it from here whether the Aman is living in Delhi or not likewise we can check whether Raman is living in Delhi or not so that means our query is working okay and fine so I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned that how we can make queries in LibreBase. so thank you for watching this video